What's up guys and welcome back to more Tarkov. Today I've got a live episode for you from a recent stream where I loaded into customs as a scav to find myself holding a crazy AKS. It was really, really modded. Anyway, I proceed to get the most kills I've ever gotten in one raid. So, enjoy. Let me check this van. We're actually by Smokestack. I like this spot. Look at my gun, it's so modded. Flash drive? No flash drives. Ah, but I've got nothing. Graphics card. Meh. 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 I know a really good spot to watch that area where we're hearing those shots. The best things about certain things are OP broken. Like, every game I've ever enjoyed has had broken shit. Well, I get what you're saying. I think you're saying it, like, maybe a bit wrong, um, but I get what you're saying. Like, the idea that, you know, everything shouldn't be balanced. Every now and then, things should be amazing and cool and broken and memey. Because it's like a story to tell, and it's something we all go together, go through together, you know? Thermals or, or whatever, and then they fix it, and then it's like, we look back on that time like, wow, dude, thermals were so easy to get and were broken. It's so much better that, you know, they're much rarer, but I do miss the time where I could just run a thermal all the time, and it was fucking hilarious. You know what I mean? At the moment, it's bad for the game, but there is some positives to it. There is some fun to be had with it, yes. Uh, key spawn here, right? Right there, but now look now. I want to get involved. Sounds like it's in my area. Yep, I see him. They're just fighting on the other side of this wall. One. Two. Three. Give me some BP rounds and I'll get it done, boys. I'll get it done. I'll send it home. That was pretty sick. <laughs> the server's working. Scav runs, mate. You're gonna get into a. You're gonna get into lobbies that are currently in progress. Um, PMC. I think you're gonna have a much harder time. Godspeed. Motor man. Put that. Oh, I actually want that. Although I know I'm not gonna be able to carry it. In his backpack. Grab his backpack. Grab his, grab his backpack. All right, helmet, please. Thank you. A Toz. Fascinating. And he was a scav, not PMC. I thought he was. Hmm. Okay. Ah, there we go. I knew there was a PMC here. Beautiful. Let's see what they got for me. Oh, thanks for clipping that. I like to see that, but watch that back. We have two more kills. One down there, and then the scav I just killed. Um, I want this for a quest, but it's not that important. Let's just see what else we've got here. I got lots of cheese, boys. I got lots of cheese. Alright, I've looted you. I've looted you. I ain't, I ain't really looted you. I took the Mosin, right? That's true. I need the duffel. More? Really? I think that's across the wall, but I did hear, like, the crack on the wall. 
All right, duffel gang. Roll out. Moving through the building here because I'm lower vis by going through. That's a uh, light bulb. It's worth some money. That's a uh, helix. Oh, okay. Um, I can actually put stuff on the handguard, so I want to keep it. Though I just dropped it somehow. Woo! 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 That's moonshine, that. Long term, that's moonshine. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Hell, there's a guy on the right by smokestack now. Alright, so they were all scavs except one PMC. Scav players. Dead. Dead. Mosin man! Mosin man! I didn't even see him there. Dead! I am a beast, man. <laughs> Holy fuck, man! Put them in front of me and they die. There's another PMC for you. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's right. Uh, garbage. I can trade that for something. Ah, it's full as well. Come on, bro. You make me take seven years. Drink the tea. All right. Go on then, just because it's tea. I want this for a quest, but it's not that important. I'm gonna get rid of one cheese. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, these are bandages. What am I thinking? And I'll just use that. And, uh, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of. Uh. <sighs> no, bolts are like 15k, dude. This cheaper shit. Pliers, yeah, there you go. Ah, shit. Alright, see ya. Grab that. Ah, uh, cheese is 3k. What am I even thinking? Yeah, cheese is 3k. But it's, it's fine. It doesn't make enough space anyway. I'll tell you what, I'll do this. Thanks. Not important, but thanks. Uh, now I can make reload space. All right, so I killed another player, I think, um, over here. And there's a kill over there by the truck. What are you looking at? Go to sleep. Go back to the lobby. What are you doing, Matt? What are you? What are you doing? Jesus. I, what do I do? Oh, I can't carry this much shit, dude. I, I, 
That's good. I want that and I want that. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. Dead. Ugh, they're giving me too much loot. Two twenty key is worth something. Okay, I'll grab it. That was another player I killed. This only takes up three slots. Is it worth? Too much loot. Gonna die looting. I killed a guy down there. Killed a guy there. At this point, guys... I'm going to get that key, and I'm just going to look to extract. I mean, I think I've done pretty well for myself. This was a player, yep. I killed this guy. Maybe someone... Le oh, yeah, obviously. Guys... I killed that guy. It was a player. And guess what? Dumbass here tried to sneak up behind me after looting it, and I killed him. I murdered him. With my gun. This first person Dark Souls looks sick. I know, right? This first person Dark Souls looks sick. Like meta. Oh, were you hiding? Were you waiting for something? Were you waiting for little old me? <laughs> well, I'm here. Alright, mate. You look pretty kitted. Oh, man. That's so busted. Miles of fire. Sit. Ten spaces. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, whatever. Who's next? Who's next? Get I did. What's a gamer? That's right. Real gamer hours occurring. Next.
I heard another. Oh my god, can I repack a mag? <laughs> RG Crazy with the 17 months. Welcome back. What a gamer. I'm a gamer. And uh, Eva, thanks for the follow, man. Bear in mind on my last scav run where we were at customs as well, that was today, we made 700,000 <laughs> in a custom scav run. <laughs> now I just have to start killing Rashali, yeah. Is Warehouse 17 right by Sniper Scav? Blue container by Duffel. Uh, I know where Ditch is, and there's a, some blue containers there. It's like the north side of the compound, west compound. Near the hole in the wall by the wall. Oh, um, unknown body. Oh, I know where you're talking about. It's in Elbow. Are you saying it's an elbow? Right under the sniper. Alright, cheers guys. It wasn't really worth it, was it? MP7 ammo? Yeah, but is it good ammo? I thought it was like third tier. It's like AP, FMJ, and then whatever I would just picked up, right? Action. Like the third down, right? It'll be good when the bleed update comes. Yeah, I keep talking about this bleed update and then I don't explain what it is. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, basically there's three types of bleeding, chat. IRL. And, uh... One's like, you know, a scuff, a scratch. No big deal. It coagulates on its own. No big deal, right? Um... Fucking put a plaster on it and it'd be fine, even without. And then you got ve ven vein bleeding or venular bleeding. Um... Which, uh, you definitely need a bandage for. It's, you know, vein. You can lose a lot of blood that way. Not generally life-threatening if you deal with it. Um, and then you got, um, oh, what's the last one called? Oh, hello. What's the last kind of bleeding? It's like, I, I keep thinking the word extremities, but it's not that all. Arterial, that's it, thanks. It's arterial. So like your thigh. I'm such a loot goblin. Oh, player. Should have taken that coal pack off, mate. I need that for a quest. Yeah, there's arterial bleeding, which is like, you know, neck and, and thigh, you know, like, the bad ones. And IRL, if you get an arterial bleed, you can die. You can die, like, in 30 seconds. That guy died in less than 30 seconds. I'm getting hallucinations, yeah.
Uh, yeah, so like, you know, for example, you had the thigh cut in a thigh. That, that can be arterial if it's bad. And, um, yeah, you can bleed out in uh, under 30 seconds. So there are kits that exist that um, they basically, they cut off blood circulation. Um, they're so tight that all blood circulation stops in the leg or, you know, wherever you've got this arterial cut. And then also, you can't really use that leg anymore, so... I guess in this game, it'll be like, you've got a blackened leg, so you've got the pimp walk. Is this it? Help me out, chat. Thanks. <laughs> Damn, dude. I was an absolute warrior that run. <laughs> oh, those first kills against the players who just didn't know I was there. I was like, tap one, tap two, mini spray three. <laughs> 900 scavs coming at me, multiple players sneaking up on me, sniping people. Fucking 11,000 experience. I didn't kill a single raider. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's have a look. Um, wow. Wow. I think that's the most kills I've ever had in one run. Um, 17. I mean, there's a lot of player kills in here. You know what I really don't like? I really don't like that they don't put, like, scav P or something. So, the first two scavs here, Anna Yusek, player, 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 because they were having a player fight, and I looted them. They were all players. So... These three here were players, the first three. So why can't they just put like a P next to it so I can check in the list like how many players did I kill that were, were scav players? It's a simple thing. I would really appreciate it. Um, it annoys me that that you can't you can't see which ones were players because I know that the first two at very least were scav players. Um, and obviously we know a bunch of the other ones were too. We got like maybe three, maybe four scav player kills um, in that run after those. And we have no idea which those are and we can't confirm the numbers without just watching the VOD back, you know. As a player just playing the game, I would like to be able to track that. Um, it wouldn't be that big a deal. It wouldn't be that invasive. You know, what's wrong with that? Anyway, there's those three types of bleeding, right? Um... As we've said. And they're coming to Tarkov at some point. Uh, supposedly in the next update. And uh, yeah. So I assume. You know the lowest level of bleeding. Um, what's it called? Capula or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, it's a C word. Uh, that will be light. And I assume you don't have to deal with that. And you just stop bleeding after a period. And then you have Venula. Which you'll need to bandage I would assume. Um, and then you'll have the worst kind. That arterial. Which you'll need better stuff to deal with um i wonder if they'll put in like temporary solutions like use both your hands to put pressure on it kind of thing or like bandages will slow it you know but you still be bleeding um instead of dying in 30 seconds you give yourself like five minutes something like that um ah oh, yes a talk a talk oh I'm sorry i'm gonna mispronounce this talk tourniquet 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 it's called tourniquet. I've never seen it spelled tourniquet. Uh, but yeah, tourniquet. Um, for cutting off blood circulation, yeah. So it's like a band and it's like tightens. You know those things that they put on your arm for like check your blood pressure? It squeezes you. It's like that times 100. It just fucking like fucking fucking. <laughs> and then there's no, no blood to the hand at this point with one of those on. Um, yeah, like list it here, man. One bear, one you sec. 15 scav kills, yeah, but I know, like, three to five of them were player scavs. So, tell me, you know? I'd like that. Capillaries of surface bleeds. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, that was a fun run. Absolute warrior.